New at 530 East, Pittsburgh police officer Michael Rossfeld facing a charge of criminal homicide in the Allegheny County DA, hoping for a conviction. Twice before, the DA has charged local police officers after they shot a fleeing suspect. But neither of those cases ended the way prosecutors had hoped. Investigator Andy Sheehan has more. When District Attorney Steven Zapala charged police officer Michael Rosfeld with criminal homicide for shooting Antoine Rose as he was running away, many observers were not surprised. He had charged other police officers for similar acts in the past. This is the third time we've had this, this particular fact scenario during my tenure. Charged the first two times, we're charging this time. Zapala has twice before charged white police officers for shooting and killing fleeing black suspects. But the results have been less than what he would have liked. The first happened in 1995 here in the Armstrong Tunnel, when Housing Authority Police Officer John Charmo unloaded his service revolver into the rear of this car, killing the driver, Jerry Jackson. Charmo lied, saying Jackson did a 180 in the tight tunnel and had tried to run him over. But it was later determined that Charmo fired into the car after it had crashed in the tunnel wall. The case ended in mistrial, but in a plea agreement, Charmo pled guilty to involuntary manslaughter, serving a year in jail and prison. Zapala also charged Pittsburgh police officer Jeffrey Cooperstein with criminal homicide for shooting into a fleeing car and killing that driver, 32-year-old Darren Grimmett. At trial, a jury acquitted the officer, and when the city fired Cooperstein, he won a civil judgment for $211,000. But as in both of these cases, Zapala now argues that Rossfeld shot and killed a person who posed no threat. All three times somebody was shot in the back and they were not a threat to the, to the police officer. As his history shows, convicting a police officer of criminal homicide can be a very difficult task. But the district attorney has long believed that these matters should be put before a jury to let them decide. Reporting downtown, Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.